Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 42 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had uh, just came back to the Sorrows camp Father, I ask that you guide to uh, this man who is the finish the of your quest that we were doing Show last episode wisdom, that uh, I finally had destroyed at the end of the last episode because, uh, yep, oh, chair squeaking a bit. Because I was dumb and didn't use my best gun <laughs> at the particular time I was doing it. We talked to White Bird now. Does Ghost of She lie quiet in grave? It's done. Then visions of truth Whoa. are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. What Give is with your mouth right now? Remind you of visions. Use well, or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. What is with your mouth? Oh, you were eating. Okay, that makes sense. I'll take those. Surprise, they're letting me. Hmm. All right. Cool. And what's... And the weapon we get for it is Shay's Embrace, which is basically the same sort of Yagwai gauntlet they have, just a, a lot bigger and a lot deadlier. Um, hmm. There's a whole bunch of stuff here I didn't expect there would be. Take those and a lot of these. There we go. Surprise! I'm allowed to take them now. Ooh, I can bring some of these healing powders to uh, Daniel and do that sort of thing. Hmm. Where is Daniel? That is a question, isn't it? <laughs> and often difficult to answer because he travels all around the goddamn camp. Uh, usually down around here, though. If I remember right. Uh, hmm. This is not the spot I wanted to go. Whoa. There's stuff down here, though. Didn't think I'd see that. A stim pack? What the hell would he have a stim pack? Oh, well. Let's go this way. It's probably over here. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Mm. Where they come from, I do not know. Well, I don't think anyone knows. Let's talk. Cut to view. Cut to view. Uh, what's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. A little bit. Midwife. I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. Ah. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. That'd be bad. What do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay. What would you speak of? But do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. Mm -hmm. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them. But we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and... a little frightened. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Fair enough. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. And it also lets me find Daniel a little quicker, so hey, there's that too. Ooh, medics wore off from that little, uh, fight I took earlier. And I didn't even need the goddamn medics. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, 
And now we gotta find him. We'll take a bit. Oh, you're, you're in the front of the camp. Okay. That was quick. Oh, there you are. Cool. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Uh, tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What, um... What do you want to know, exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Uh, did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. It's her husband. You don't... Don't you think she has a right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're the new canine who's supposed to help lead these people, not hide things from them. I know. You're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. You mentioned you need healing powder. I have some if you're still interested. Oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Take all I have. Your generosity is... Uh, well, I, I just can't thank you enough. Yay! Until then. Got rid of all the ones I don't plan on using. Uh, talk to you. Got to be you. Hey, you're not going to be happy in a bit. Afraid he was killed by White Legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend. But he cares nothing for the sorrows. That's, that's not right. That's not right. He does care. That's why he didn't feel the to tell you. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Alright. That is done. And is there any other quests uh, that I need to do for these people before I start doing the main stuff? Apparently not. Find a map of the Grand Staircase region. That seems like it'd be easy enough, so we'll get that out of the way. Oh, well, there's a cave up there. Though it'll take a while to get over there. Hmm. Or maybe not. I can just go this way. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, that works. Sweet Flower Cave. Head yeah, boy. I'm going to explore all these caves before I leave, but I might not do them on camera. Oop. That was a lot of splash. Uh, so, just as a warning now, I'll probably have the stuff and I'll probably show it off to you guys, but I might not do it on camera because they are extensive and some of them have booby traps and it is... Yeah. I might show those that are booby-trapped a bit, but I, I don't think I'll be doing a lot of them on camera. So we have to go to the, through Morning Glory Cave. We should not be here. This place, it belongs to the Father in the Caves. We must not profane it with our touch. What are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him. And those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. Uh... Hmm. 
that's not right. Um, Father in the Caves was just a man who lived a long time ago. You speak as one who has not heard the tales, who has not seen the sacred images. If you knew, you would not mock. I'm not mocking. I've played this game a million times. I know that's what he was. Uh, have I though? I mean, I keep fucking up regularly. I don't blame you. Oh, something up there. Spore plant. Well, that is if I don't kill this thing. And there we go. That worked. Uh, why caution? No one saw me do that. There's no one here. Yet. I have a feeling that yet's gonna change. Oh, nope. I'm too good. There we go. Okay, and we get this one. I don't see where the caution's supposed to be coming from. Uh, nope, that's not the one. That one. I'm collecting some of these because I need them. More or less. Oh, Jesus. Why does that caution keep popping up? There's nothing here. Right now, anyway. Okay. That's not the one I wanted. I want this one. There we go. And I don't see anything over there, either. Okay. These I need. These I'll use. Oh, I see. Okay, we'll back up a bit. Stay still. Don't want to accidentally shoot her in the head. Because that would be bad. Oh, for fuck. Grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people and for our valley if something is not done. I bet. Okay. Up, oh, bear trap. That's what I expected coming over here. And that's what her holy wrath was what she was thinking would happen. Um, up here. Oh, come on. Let me get up. Here we go. I want to be sneaky, so I'm trying to be sneaky. Ooh, some 45 rounds, that's always good. And bear trap. The frame rate's starting to drop quite a bit over here. Jesus. Uh, morning Glorious Kashiki? Hmm. Didn't expect that. Okay, wrench, that, uh, we'll use that, uh, dinamite, that and that, uh, damn the frame rate drops as soon as I'm looking at these things, um, uh, what can I take to lighten my load here, uh, Hmm. Uh, let's see. It's gotta be something. Other than using these, which I don't want to do, because those are make good things. Let's, let's just take a whiskey for now. Take some of these. Then as soon as I get in front of a bonfire... Where is that? Ah. Ow! Fuck you! Bear trap, you son of a bitch. Jesus fucking god damn it. 
tit fuck bitch slap a do <laughs> scared the fuck out of me though okay let's look at the map of this general area um that way the marker there so I should have been following that but Uh, that's not the one I want. I want this one. Okay. And now I gotta make sure I'm not stupid. Okay, I want to undo this tripwire because I don't want it blowing up my face. There's really no... Oh, there! Awesome. And there's got to be some other traps in here because I know this guy he's not the type of guy to just leave something with a chance like that there we go frame rate just goes to shit as soon as you start looking at these things then it's fine everywhere else I don't get it um bear trap here Anything else? Yeah, there's a bear trap over here, too. Okay. There's got to be some sort of cooking place here. I'm pretty sure there is. Survival cache. Ooh, that's a lot of weight. A lot of value, too. Uh, take that. That, that, that. These. That. Uh, those. Just fuck it. Take that and that. Just double fuck it. And the terminal. And I'll read all these entries out. August 22nd. Ten sets of tracks. Half a mile northeast of Canyon Entrance. Barefoot. August 23rd. Saw them through scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia, maybe. August 24th. I'm not crazy. They're real. God damn it, they are real. Rush me the moment they saw me, snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery. Doing for them what I could never do for myself. September 3rd. The last of them. All gone. February 5th. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. Happy 60th. What do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12-gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Woo! Come now, what do I have to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seen enough sun sunrises and sunsets. Saw the big sunset, been hanging on through the long night, 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex, Sylvie and Michael, who could have been. Thought of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. February 6th. Fucking didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. 21-23. April 25th. 24 of them. Half boys, half girls. Youngest is 8, maybe. Oldest, 13-14. Dirty and scrawny. Been on the foot for a long time. Children's Crusade. Struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos. 30 years and a lifetime ago. I've spent two nights listening to them. English. Literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escape someplace they call the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will come get you. The principal better not show up or I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can still shoot straight. This kind of proves that this was the guy protecting them. Oh, and that. Kind of want that. Kind of want these. And I'm surprised there isn't a spot to be cooking and making stuff. Normally, his spots happen. Oh, there it is. There's the cooking spot. Uh, healing poultice. And the Tura antivenom. And gecko steak. How's my weight sitting now? 
great. It is under, you know, well, what it should be. <laughs> All right. Whee! Now we can just escape the hell out of here. Oh, before I forget, should get some uh, gecko steak in me since I just cooked some. Because now it's free. Because I cooked it, right? He ordered the white flakes to salt the earth so nothing would grow again. What kind of monster? Uh, tactician? A crazy motherfucker? Who knows? Uh, we'll head out of here. Whoa, that was weird. Holy shit! Uh, did not expect that to pop out of the woodwork like that. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What? Why are they all flying at me? What the fuck? Okay, let's try and blow up the stinger. That didn't work. And the mantis ran off. Whoo! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's a thing. That was a thing. What are you, what are you yelling about, though? It's like, they're all dead. <laughs> For real, though. Um... Have another gecko steak. This should be good now. And let's blow the mantis's head off once and for all. If it'll let me target the damn thing. There we go. I'm sure you don't, and we'll call the episode done here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. Oh, chair squeak. And we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.